am a very kinesthetic person and I just came out of the shoot that way. Um, I've always been very physically engaged uh, as a young kid. I got into dance and became very serious as a ballet dancer, a professional dancer for many years. And then later switched into modern dance and choreography. So I have a rich dance life and also a creative life. My fascination of the body led me to study massage therapy. And for 15 years I had a thriving practice it was in the mid-90s when I was considering becoming an acupuncturist that I was introduced to zero balancing and I was hooked. It's really about listening and holding people and really finding out and really journeying with them while they're on the table. Witnessing the changes that are coming up and just allowing them to be. Pauses are very much a part of a ZB session. They allow the client to integrate and reorganize holding patterns and shift into new ways of inhabiting their bodies. And when clients emerge from a session, they frequently comment on going into a deeply restful state. I felt like I was in alignment, but it wasn't really, I was thinking, it's not like when you go to a chiropractor. Mm -hmm. And then I said, I feel balanced and like, so that's why they call it zero balancing. Uh -huh. The other thing is you feel so light at the end of it. Mm -hmm. I experienced mm -hmm. that the last time too. It's mm -hmm. almost like you're floating. Mm -hmm. Yoga is much more than simple exercise. And taking a pose in yoga, breathing deeply through the effort, letting go of struggle, yoga is about bringing conscious breath and movement together. I believe that our bodies are our temples and um, I am really passionate about people being touched with their bodies, yeah.